Alright, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be watching Game of Thrones Season 5, Episode 8. Well, I love the emotion from Tommen when he was like, the queen is in trouble and there's nothing I can do. Like, I love that emotion from him. I want him to get pissed off about it. Yes? What? Okay. What? Oh shit, oh shit, she almost fell. What? 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 What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh my god. Alright. This, this is her channel now, guys. I guess. This is her channel. Okay, you want to stay right here while we watch? Oh. <laughs> sure. Can I get a sniff test? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay okay anyways okay she's distracted she's all good anyways in the last episode of game of thrones Last episode was actually a really damn good episode because this fucking bitch just got, she fucked herself over. Oh my, her plan backfired. And that makes me so fucking happy because I literally don't, I, I hate this bitch with all my heart. I don't know, I don't really hate her, but I really don't enjoy her if I'm being honest. I really don't enjoy her. She just pisses me off with how she tries to manipulate people. It's fucking annoying. Like, it's not good, it's not sly, it's not sleight of hand or anything, it's obvious what you're doing, and it's fucking annoying. But, thankfully, her stupid-ass plan backfired. Now, okay, okay. Okay, I, I'm really hoping this episode is a lot like Season 4, Episode 8, where someone dies, and hopefully that somebody is... Cersei or Ramsey. I'm really hoping it's either one of them. Both would be pretty nice, but hopefully it's either one. Probably not because they're not really set up to die. You know, in Game of Thrones, when they're going to kill someone, they, they set it up. You know, like Obrian, he had the match, you know. But okay, the characters have been killed like pretty randomly, but I mean like main characters, you know. Like the side characters that are like, okay, they're 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 kind of important but they're expendable well we can kill them off at any given second but like main characters like rob ned obrian you know they're gonna have their moment to die right Ygritte, you know they're gonna have their moment for them it's gonna be set up in in a way now with cersei or ramsey i don't see them dying just yet or really anytime soon actually no i take that back i think cersei could die pretty soon not this episode but pretty soon because she's gonna go on trial and it's not gonna go well for her and then off with her head. But maybe not, maybe I'm wrong. With Ramsey, I don't see him dying anytime, anytime soon because well, like the only way I could see him dying is like Stan is pulling up and then he dies in battle. Like Ramsey dies in the battle or something like that, which I don't think would happen. And speaking of Stannis, I think it's pretty funny how He's trying to push through the snow, push his men through, and attack. He, t he told Sir Devos, no, now is the time. We, we keep going forward. We go forward in defeat or we go forward in victory. But either way, we're going forward, right? Now, I think that's pretty funny because the episode prior, he literally told Sam that his brother Robert Baratheon lost a battle to Sam's father. And Stannis literally said... I told him it was the wrong time to go. He he went too soon. And that's what Stannis is doing right now. He's going too soon. It's not the right time to attack. You know, he it's snowy. They're not going to survive. Like, bro, did you not learn from Napoleon or Germany? 
Like, come on. You don't invade Russia, okay? <laughs> but, okay. He's going anyway because he feels it's the right time. I don't... Like, maybe he's just really... Maybe it has... Maybe it's just more with, like, his arrogance. He's cocky. He's naive. He just doesn't... He's just... He wants it too bad. He's blinded by his emotions of wanting it too badly. You know? I guess we'll see how bad he really wants it because Melisandre literally said, we gotta sacrifice your fucking daughter to win this war. So... We'll see how bad he really wants it then. So we'll see if that actually happens. You know, when she said that, he was like, fuck no. Fuck no. no. You ain't never said to Fuck no. Fuck no. Fuck no. We're not doing that. But maybe he will. I doubt it. But okay. And I'm looking at the thumbnail of this episode right now. And it's literally this old blue. It's this old white walker. I, I don't know if he has a name. <laughs> I, I don't know. But here, wait. Let me just like show you guys. <sighs> this guy this is the thumbnail to the episode so okay last time we saw him was season four episode 10 i'm pretty sure in the finale of season four wow eight episodes later okay okay well we'll see what's good with him in this episode so anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time we're just gonna hop right into this episode if you'd like to watch the full length reaction that'll be available on patreon as well early access to the next two episodes of game of thrones will also be on patreon so let's get started to pay your family back for what it did to mine. You want for- Ooh. I'll help you. I killed my mother, Joanna Lannister. On I am the greatest Lannister killer of our time. <laughs> we have only just met. It's too soon to know if you deserve my service. Ooh. And to the fighting pits. Just say the word. Fuck. She got us. When I was a young man, I heard a story about a baby born during the worst storm in living- She had no wealth, no lands, no army, only a name. Her in a very short span of time, along yep. with three dragons, okay. he thought last chance to build a better world. It's very sold on that. And why are you worth meeting? Why should mm. I? I did quite well with the latter, considering the king in question preferred torturing animals to leading his people. Yep. What would you have me do with him? Oh, Jora. He ever returned? I know. He's gonna talk his way. He's gonna talk through this. He's good at that. Nothing I have witnessed gives me reason to doubt him. Oh, Jorah looks so happy to hear that from Tyrion. Yes. Mm. Many opportunities. I mean, he could have told her at any point. But until forced to do so. Yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, bro, if it doesn't matter, don't bring it up ever again, you know? He is in love with you, I think. Oh, yeah. Significance to you. Oh, he Did not trust that you would be wise enough to forgive him. He looks so disappointed in himself, too. Remove Sejora from the city. Ah. Uh, fuck. Hey, at least they're not killing him. They're just removing him. Dude, that pain her too. Because, like, dude, they were like this. They were like this. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Infection. They're gonna dump water on her. They're gonna dump water on Cersei. Ah, okay, no. No. Confess. I thought... <laughs> let me speak to them. Ooh, yeah, fuck. No, they're never gonna let you speak to Tommen. What the fuck? My face will be the last thing you see. Ah, yes. Damn. I thought she was gonna walk in and just dump water on her. Like that entire bucket. <laughs> Oh my, oh my god. I uh, did. I don't feel bad to Cersei because she did a lot worse to a lot more fucking people. If Cersei lives through this, then maybe she'll have some fucking perspective. Or no, she'll just be even worse. She'll be even more hateful. And to moon sing Elaine. <laughs> Liar. She will make a fine servant for the many faced god. Sing all else she can lie or something. Send her on a mission or something. As a gambler. Oh, he's our target. He's our target. Oh, I was just spying on him, studying her target. A gift. Poison. She's not ready. Fuck no. Yes, she is. Only one way to find out. All right, so I guess that was like Arya trying to, you know, she, Arya living a different life. So. She could infiltrate and spy on this guy and give us backstory if she has to. Fornication, treason, incest, the murder of King Robert. 
Oh, no. Incest. <laughs> Often the death of reason. Mm -hmm. He now okay. presides over the small calves. I implored him to visit you, but he would not. Yeah, he's like, fuck you. Treat him like shit. What about my son? Uh, unavailable. Famous. His servants often find his food in the hall. Wow. Uh, he's just not doing shit about this. He wouldn't see me. He won't see anyone. Fuck! <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing. There is a way. What? Thing I will not kneel before some barefooted common <sighs> Why? Yeah, why'd you ra why'd you tell me, yeah. fool? Not Theon. There is no Theon. Reek. Reek. Theon is dead. Tell him Reek. Because Theon's dead. Escape. There is no escape. Oh. Theon Greyjoy tried to escape. <laughs> and caught him and strapped him to a cross. Until there was no Theon left. Yep. Good. I deserve to be Reek. Oh. Oh. Turned on Rob. I can't. Tell me. I can't. Not unless the master's Tell me. Uh, they weren't what? They were. It wasn't Brian. It wasn't Brian and Rickon. They weren't your brothers. They weren't Brian and Rickon. Yeah. I couldn't find them. Mm -hmm. I killed them and burned them so no one would know. You have to tell me. Do you have any idea where? <gasps> Not Theo. Reek. Oh. oh my God. Dude, she broke through to him just a little bit. And she's too loyal. How high do Stannis' horses jump? Mm -hmm. We have enough food for six months. Damn. We are more prepared for a siege than they could ever be. A mutiny. Facts. How House Bolton treats southern invaders. Just to decide what sort of fight this is going to be. But we. <sighs> a smart commander does not. Yeah, that's. that's... That's not smart, Ramsey. They're behind these walls. They can't touch us. But you look like cowards, kinda. I need 20 good men. Bro, what the fuck? What, you're gonna sneak through his camp and go assassinate him? I, okay, I hope Ramsey goes to try and assassinate him in his camp. And it's just... Backfires so bad. I hope he dies from it. I know what my father was. I know the Mad King earned his name. Hey, guess what? My brother killed your dad. <laughs> She knows that, though. I hope that's right. To see if you are the right kind of terrible. Which kind is that? Mm -hmm. Kind that prevents your people from being even more so. Not, not the Joffe kind of terrible. The good terrible. For himself. Jorah sent my secrets to Varys. Yeah. Other things as well. Things he didn't have to do. He went out of his way for you. He may be the only person in the world I trust, except my brother. Ah. The brother who killed my father. Ah, yep, 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 yep. Convinced me you might be worth living for. Damn. I'm not going to kill you. Uh, I knew I knew you were going to. I'm not going to be banished. You're going to advise me. Oh, let's fucking go. Let's go. Well, you can still speak in complete sentences. Uh, <laughs> no, I need I need the wine. It helps me think. The iron throw. Perhaps you should try wanting something else. <laughs> if I want jokes, I'll get myself a proper fool. Ooh. Gone as well. Our two terrible fathers saw to that. Harvey. Finn Stark, Tyrell. They were irrelevant. And on it spins, crushing those on the ground. Mm -hmm. I don't need any of them. I, I'm a Targaryen. I'll do it myself. I'm going to break the wheel. Ah, let's go. Let's go. Dude, Tyrion and Daenerys. Oh, I love it, dude. I fucking love it. Why is he going back? Why is he going back? I go do some other shit. What the fuck? We'll fight to the Great Pit in front of the Queen. <sighs> Best you've got. Yeah. You could have gone anywhere. Yeah, why'd you come back? It's for Daenerys. Let me fight for her. And I belong to you. Dude, he's too loyal. Jory, you're gonna... I, just... well, I mean, dude, he's gonna die anyway. Because of the stone thing. <laughs> so it's like, you might as well, I guess. Imaginable. And all I do is... You have no power here. Shut the fuck up. You have no power here. I don't give a fuck. You'll never have power again. Doesn't fucking matter. Oh. I didn't see wax her as she's trying to drink the water from the floor. Are you scared? A little. Fuck yeah, I'm scared. They could do it again, you know? Who's there? Ollie. What's good, Ollie? <laughs> I trust you. Hello? I need to check from baby Sam. Alright, what's good, Ollie? They slaughtered us. Yeah, it'd be like that. I've seen 
The army of the dead. Yeah, we fucking need them, Molly, okay? And the White Walkers. And they come in for us. For all the living. And when it's time... We need as many people as we possibly need. Every last man we can find. Yes. Look wrong to others, but you know are right in the long run. Yeah, see, it's all about the long term. You believe that? With all my heart. Uh, I feel like Sam's gonna look real stupid because he said that now. Like, it... He always comes back. Dog, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't, don't say that. Uh... Oh, but this the fact that Sam said that this could be the last time he this could be the time he doesn't come back and like the fact that Sam's so confident that John's taking a risk but it's gonna pay off in the long run makes me think it's not gonna pay off but who knows maybe it will oh my god there's so many of them oh we're just in these white walkers if we have that many of them we're just in the white walkers you trust me John Snow uh boom yeah. We're fools together now. Yep. Yeah, he looks just as bad. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm nervous. War. Mm -hmm. You call that a war? The greatest. No, the war that's about to come. Cut to pieces by some southern king. Bro, what do you mean? Stannis' army is legit. I'm not giving an order. He's not my prisoner. We're boys now. You fucking traitor. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. It's not like that. It's not like that. For the crows. Fight for life, my life. Do you get down on your knees and suck his cock? Ooh. Oh, oh, he's just killing him. Okay. Ah, oh. eh, he's probably not gonna kill him. Just hurt him. I mean, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> not a risky, bro. What if they all just started attacking you? You know, just tells me no one else liked that fucking guy. <laughs> this isn't about friendship. It's about surviving. This is about survival. Yep. Yep. Dragonglass, come with me and I'll share these weapons. Bro, we have like five of them. What do you mean? The war with the Night's Watch, he wanted a new life for his people, for you. Yep. If you swear you'll join us when the real war begins. Okay, that actor looks so... Fa she looks so familiar. Where is Mance? Oh, whatever. Oh, man Mance is fucking dead. I put an arrow through his heart. Oh, fuck. That's ah, true. Sean technically did kill him. With no eyes. Sean, I would have lied about that. His arrow was mercy, courage, and that's what we need today. Fuck yeah. And two brothers fighting the damn crows. I'm not asking you. Sounds like a you problem. There's the night that Mance attacked the wall. <laughs> can't stop them. The Night's Watch can't stop them, and all the Southern Kings can't stop them. Mm-hmm. May not be enough, but at least we'll give the fuckers a fight. Fuck yeah. You vouch for this man, Tormund. Mm-hmm. He's preacher than both my daughters. <laughs> to fight. He's young, but he knows how to lead. Fuck yeah, he does. He has that Rob Star charisma. And we need him. Only if I broke bread with a crow. So would mine, but fuck him, they're dead. <laughs> I was literally about to say that, but they're, they're dead. It doesn't matter. We stay here. We're dead men. Mm hmm. King Crow. There's a chance. King Crow. Oh, What's up, buddy? What's up, big bro? Keep your glass, King Crow. What? Come on, bro. Gibbs, I'm gonna slit your throats. Ah. Yeah, he just doesn't trust them. That has always been our enemy. I mean, bro, if this was just a setup by John to kill them all as soon as they get on the ships, that would be fucking. That would be a pretty good way to do it. But, you know, they, of course, yeah, I get it. They're not going to trust them. I fucking hate things. <laughs> Same. They're fucking annoying. Okay, I guess the wildlings are coming, but not the fens. Fuck the fens. We don't need them. They're annoying. What are you with us? 5,000? That's it. We're leaving too many behind. The free folk are stubborn. You're not yeah. 20 fucking years. Oh. Food. And there's nothing to hunt. Oh, they'll be desperate. Yeah, they'll be too desperate in a little bit. Just give it some time. But do we have the time? I don't know. To get the old folks on the boats. I'm right behind you, I promise. I like this girl. I, really, I like her. I hope nothing bad happens to her, dude. But no one's safe. Not even her fucking kids. Aww. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucker's huge. 
Hey, your brother killed my boy. <laughs> the fuck are you looking at? The fuck is going on? Where are the dogs barking at? Why is John look so worried? Is it the White Walkers? Hey, hey, they, he was the thumbnail. It was the thumbnail of the video. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hey, now the fans have no choice. Hey, they're gonna see it for themselves and they're gonna be like, all right, let's go, let's go, let's go. What the fuck? Oh, they all, the people in the back see it, so they're dipping. Shut the gate. Yep. <gasps> Bro, you're gonna leave all the, wait. Oh my god, you left so many people behind. Oh, it's just an avalanche, never mind. Dude, that's so fucked up to leave all these people behind the gate. Dude, they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna bust that down. Wait, no, it's not an avalanche. It's definitely White Walkers. Oh, you can just hear them all dying. <sighs> Can't even see it. Just please get a knife to your eye. Oh. Oh yeah, I'm swimming to that boat now. I'm Nah bro, you're not You're not gonna be able to keep them calm. Oh fuck. Uh, I wanna see this giant go off. I really hope. I think his name was Ed, the guy with the giant from the Night's Watch, who is collecting the dragon glass. I think his name's Ed. I really hope he doesn't die. I really like him. So honest. That's so honest, John. Dude, maybe Sam was maybe Sam was wrong. Maybe John's not coming back. So should you. My little girl's got on. Yeah. There. You have my word. I've given orders. Uh huh. You're gonna be there to enforce those orders. Oh, come on, no, John, no. Everyone dies. Yeah. Let's watch. With me. No. Let's go, John. Fuck. There's so many. Or fucked. Or fucked. Bro, and all those people on the other side of the gate when they closed it, I'm assuming they've all turned the White Walkers or just whites at this time now, so it's even more to the army that was already coming. Oh. Oh, she's going off. Oh. The four horsemen. Yeah, those are the main ones. The dragon glass. Yeah. <laughs> oh. How many can the giant take? But imagine that giant turns into one. Then we're really fucked. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, John, oh, John's taking him. I already know he is. John's gonna get that dragon glass, and John's gonna take him one on one. Okay, the fens are. I I don't like the fens, but they have hands, bro. They're good. We got this, John. We got. The glass. Yep. Oh, this fens going off. I can already tell. <laughs> oh, what that? Okay, that's OD. That's so. That's broken. Like, that's so broken. What the fuck? Mm, he's after it too, though. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, John was just slipping on that. Oh, yeah. It just breaks your weapon. That's so broken. Oh, John just broke his ribs. But he's no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure his sword. I okay, I don't remember exactly, but <sighs> come on. I'm pretty sure his sword is like it's it's a special sword, so he could fight this guy. It's not gonna break his sword, if I remember right. <laughs> Yeah, didn't break a sword. 
Yep. And that white, look, that white. Waxed, 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 waxed. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. You suck. Fuck you. Okay, yeah, John's sword, it's a special sword. I'm pretty sure Mormon, oh, that guy just saw that too. And he's like, ah. I'm pretty sure Mormon told him something like that. Like, this is this very special sword, John. <laughs> Torment's just going off right now, bro. <laughs> and her. <gasps> oh. <gasps> <gasps> no, not the kids. Are those her kids? I don't know. I barely saw her kids, so I don't know, but... I think those are just some of the kids, not hers. Oh. R.I.P. Yeah, they were probably her kids, so that's probably why she like froze while looking at them. Oh, he's not dead. He's not. He's not dead. Thank God. Off the bus. We're gonna die here. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we gotta go. Oh, okay, okay, I was about to say, no way, they just jumped in, they all just died. I don't want to run the die either, but... Uh, yeah, can the White Walker swim? We'll find out. Uh, uh, bro, there's too many for the giant, there's just too many. <laughs> We're going... Oh, you don't understand how fast I'm jumping in that water. Oh, no, what about the giant? We're just gonna leave him to die? Oh, okay. Yeah, bro, he's not even under How? Is the giant gonna be able to get on the boat or is he gonna fucking sink? Or is he gonna sink the boat? Is he gonna be too heavy? Uh, there's still people there that are alive and you can hear them scream. Dude, there's nothing you can do. Ah, uh, the Thens are White Walkers now too. You. I'm going like this if I'm John. I'm just <laughs> Okay. Well good thing they can't fucking swim. Well, what is he doing? Oh, is he like come on bro? You ready? Or is that is it like that? Or is he gonna do some bullshit here? Oh. Oh no, he just turned them all to Okay. Okay. So, dude, as they just kill everyone, they just get added to their army. That's so fucking broken, dude. They could literally add their enemy to the army when- ah. God damn. Alright. <sighs> Bro. We are so fucked. We are so goddamn fucked. It is not even funny. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about it. The Starks warned us. The Starks have been warning us. And I think it's safe to say, winter is finally here fucking all basically six seasons later like a little bit into like pretty much 80 percent of five you know so basically six seasons but doc it's finally here oh my god we are so fucked we like john like, just thinking about it dude john ned has known about this for the longest time and uh, John, John fucking saw it. John, he sees what Ned was talking about now. We are so fucked. We are, we, Ned, okay. Oh my God, we are so fucked. <laughs> I can't, I can't even believe this. 
first and foremost, RIP that one wildling who lasted one whole episode. I liked her. I thought she was good. I thought she was great. It kind of sucks she only lasted one episode. And like, dude, the ending right there where they're just on the boat and like, he's just like this, you know? You know, he basically turned all the dead into like the living dead basically now. And like, dude, just the silence of that was just like, Oh, that was that was kind of chilling that was pretty damn chilling honestly thank fucking god they can't swim like <laughs> john would not have made it out alive if they can't swim <laughs> okay i know i kept saying oh since sam said john always comes home maybe he doesn't now well it's like i i guess they put that in the show to make us think like oh john's definitely dying in this like like once you realize what's happening and the the walkers all pulled up, it's like, oh, John's definitely dying. But okay, he didn't. He didn't. Dude, John, John's the hardest, bro. John, John's so John is him, bro. John is that guy. Okay. John is that guy. That's all I have to say about John, bro. I love John so much, dude. He's officially he no, he's been my favorite character for since season three, episode nine. John became my favorite character. Well, actually, after season three, episode nine, I didn't really have like a, a solid favorite character. And then, but then pretty s shortly after that, John became my favorite. So, and this is why shit like this. This is why John's my favorite, bro. John, oh my God. You know, I wasn't expecting this in this episode, you know? Okay, but okay, it kind of follow. Okay. So like, I what I said in my last episode, season episode nine video. So it's season four, episode nine. I said, it goes like this. This is how I kind of saw it happen. Season one, Ned died, right? In episode nine. Season two, it was just a big battle of episode nine. Season three, Rob died. Season four, it was a big battle, right? This was episode eight, and this was the big battle. So I think episode nine, next episode, someone dies. I think that's what's gonna happen. I think since somebody is going to die and it has to follow that trend of every other season, someone dies, they gave us the battle in episode eight. Does that make sense? okay maybe maybe that's wrong maybe i don't know but it's just a guess based off what based off what i've seen so far so could be cersei could be marge could be loras could be ramsey because apparently yeah ramsey said he wants to go and attack stannis himself so hopefully it's fucking ramsey but like dog okay okay so let's talk about okay okay dude okay so john john pulls up to the wildlings and he's like like i need your help okay we, we, we if you stay here you're gonna die and i need you to come with me and we have a 700 foot wall and all of us together we can take the we can have a better chance at surviving right with this with the wall <sighs> but it's like dude that's okay that's so shitty how like the white walkers happen to pull up right there like okay the thens weren't coming anyway they were only gonna get 5,000 of the wildlings but it's like that's better than what we had bro we have 50 men at the fall right now <laughs> and so we were trying to get the wildlings to come, right? And like, okay, so the wildlings, they were down. They were down for it. They were going, but then the White Walkers pulled up. And it's like, in the fact that they closed the fucking gate, it's like, yeah, I, okay. All those people behind the gate just got mogged. And then I don't know how soon, I'm pretty sure like they all turned the uh, walkers or whites like pretty soon after. I'm pretty sure that like, they they helped the like, bust through the wall after they turned the whites, you know, or maybe they all turned the whites when he went like this and turned it all on. I don't know, but regardless, everyone that was still on that on land, everyone that was still on land, they, ah, dude, all the thens, all the wildlings that were still there. I don't know how many even got to the boat. It's like. Fuck. I, I look it doesn't matter how many got to the boat it's not enough okay it's not enough okay how many out of 5,000 probably like what like 1500 best case scenario got to the boat <sighs> okay what we need to do is we need to send that goddamn raven to Stannis you're like hey we need you to come back or we abandon the wall we abandon Castle Black we abandon all that and we just go south I think that's what I think that's the move I think that's the move but i don't know okay or or how about this how about this we put our egos down and we we head up everyone possible okay but like they don't understand what just happened okay like 
we gotta hit up Stannis, the Lannisters, the Tyrells, Bolton in the north, and we all have to and Khaleesi's, and we all have to work together to fight them, or we're all gonna die. But it's like, yeah, none of them realize what what we're really going up against. None of them realize the severity of what the, uh, like, of what the White Walkers are. They don't get it. Melisandre gets it. She said she okay. I remember a couple episodes, or like maybe even last season, she was like the real war. No wait, yeah, she said this to um to Grenji. Okay, I know I butchered his name. I know, I know. But anyway, she said it to him. She's like, and like when Stannis was in the room, she goes. The real war isn't between the five kings. It, the real war is on its way. So she knows. So may, maybe she can talk some sense into Stannis. And I don't know. Like, it's it's very unlikely. It's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. So, but I feel I, that's probably like the only way we're going to defeat them. Or they're, they're just going to wipe out every house one by one. Because, like, the problem is once you fucking kill, like, once they kill some of your men, well, guess what? Your men that just died, they're now part of their army. That's so fucking broken. And we have to take out like 10 to 1 of them. Like we cannot die. None of us can die because if we die, well, guess what? The men that just died, they're fighting for them now. So it's like we literally have to kill them by like a 10 to 1 ratio. Like one person has to take out like 10 of them. We kill them. Are they actually? I'm pretty sure they're officially dead, but they once once they're whites and then they die they can't they can't come back i'm pretty sure like i'm very cute john barely made it out i'm pretty sure his name was ed the other night's watch guy that was with john he barely made it out Tormund, Tormund barely made it out the giant barely we all barely made it out bro i'm for uh, and okay and one of the main white walkers you know okay i'm pretty sure out of the four horsemen those are white walkers and then the the army is just called whites i'm pretty sure but anyway, one of the four White Walkers, yeah, his fucking sword just breaks your fucking sword. So it's like, even if you're fighting him, she, ah, dude, we just gotta jump his ass, dude. What if like 50 of us just run up on him? Like, then what is he gonna do? He can't kill all of us. Maybe, maybe he can, but okay. But John, but John has his sword, right? And I'm pretty sure Mormont told him like back in like season two, or maybe, yeah, it had to be, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was season two. I don't know if this is season two or not, but it was when John saved Mormont from a white. And then I'm pretty, you guys know what I'm talking about? And I'm pretty sure Mormont gave him the, the sword or like he, John just got the sword and he used the sword to save him, right? And Mormont, he said something like, You're, you have a special sword. He's like, son, you have a very special sword. It's, this is a sword crafted out of like some sort of steel or whatever. And like, we, okay, we didn't really go with that man at the time, but now it makes perfect sense. At the time, I was kind of just like, oh, okay, that's lit, that's lit. But I was like, it's just, a, as far as I know, it's just a sword. Like, I don't, you know, like, what's so special about it? But now, now I finally see what's special about it, bro. He fucking, he countered the white, and then he hit him in the body, and it just shattered the white walker. Okay, I know I, I like, jokingly said, but we only have, like, five pieces of dragon glass. I, okay, we definitely had more than five, but it's like, doesn't matter now, because... He said, fuck the dragon glass. We're going to die if we go. If we got to get out of here now. So we, we don't have any. We, we Now we have, now we literally have probably five pieces left. That's probably literally all we have. Because I know I know we grabbed a couple pieces, but not a lot. And OK, OK, back in season four, episode nine, that was my favorite episode. But I think this has to be my favorite episode now. Like, ugh, it was so good. Like, fuck, I was not expecting this in this episode like that. So far, it's like when we get a, a fat battle like this, like a fat fucking battle, you know, it's usually its entire episode, like season two, episode nine, season four, episode nine. Those episodes were strictly dedicated to it. This episode had a little bit, a bit of the other storylines that are going on at the same time right now. But then this battle just takes over the rest of the episode. So, OK, OK, it's pretty lit. Wasn't expecting it, but I'm happy we got it. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, John is literally Anakin Skywalker. Like he, that, he reminds me so much of him. Like not not Darth Vader. I don't mean. I mean Anakin before he turned. Like cl like vintage Clone Wars Anakin. You know, like, ugh. Mm, so so nice, so nice. That's why I like John a lot too. That's why I really love him. And like, okay, what's like John's sword made out of? Because I don't think it's made out of dragon glass. I don't think it is. And with Tyrion and Daenerys, I think it's perfect because. 
I think Tyrion's a perfect person to help her out now that he's advising her now. Like, ah, like okay, Daenerys in the beginning was just... Okay, get her army, get her ships, go conquer Westeros, right? That was her mission from the very beginning. But now, but then she kind of took like this detour where she's at now, which, okay, it was a, it was a necessary detour, you know? It was a good, it's, she has to learn, you know? But now that she has Tyrion by her side, like, dude, he knows literally everything that's going on. Like, not everything, but he has so much insight on everything. It's like, he's the perfect person to have. And like, he's not gonna just bullshit it like he kind of did in King's Landing, you know? Like, he didn't really want to like help out, but he kind of like had to. But here, he, he seems like he really wants to. Like, he wants to help her out. I think it's perfect to have him by her side. It's just, it's nice. It's a nice, I love the dynamic. Like, at first, they were kind of feeling each other out, you know? See, so like, okay, okay. But then, you know, it's like, okay. It didn't take long before the, she was like, okay, I trust you. Not like, trust you, but like, okay, I'll play, I'll take you by my side. Okay. So, I can't wait to see how that works out. But he, does, he doesn't know about the White Walkers. He has no idea. That's, oh my god. I fucking hope that doesn't fuck over every, like, I hope it doesn't fuck over Khaleesi's. I hope it fucks over Ramsey somehow. And Bolt, then, like, Imagine the White Walkers get to the north, like, oh my god, I would love to see, like, each house kind of, like, slowly defend them all, like, one by one, that would be nice, that would be nice, that would be pretty lit. Or maybe they all come together, but I highly doubt it, it's, like, I don't, I don't know if the White Walkers even get that far, but get that far to where they pick off, like, each house one by one, that would be pretty nice to see. I would hate, to, I, I like Stannis, I'm kind of rooting for him, so... I don't want it to see it. I don't want it to happen to him, but if it does, it's okay. It is what it is. What it is. But if they pick off, if they go to the north, all right, I'm bet, bet, you know, assuming they all do that before like um, Bolton and Ramsey fight Stannis first, you know, like they'll probably fight first and then the White Walkers will come second. And then that, that actually just reminded me. It's like, well, now Cersei can't really take her advice and go pick off like between the north and Stannis when they fight. Baelish said, oh, you're going to go, just go pick them off. Like once they fought, just go, you know, go fight them while they're licking their wounds, you know, but well, she can't do that now. So, okay. I kind of feel like Baelish had something to do with her being like locked up. I kind of feel like he did. I don't know why, but I kind of feel like he was behind it. I still don't know who he was talking about when he was telling like Lady Olena, I have a young, handsome boy for you. And it's like, I have a young, handsome man for you. I still think he's talking about Robin, but I feel like he just had something to do with Cersei. Or that was just Cersei being a fucking idiot all on her own. I don't know. Okay, thinking about it, dog, like, the only way we're gonna win is if we get Daenerys and her fucking dragons. Like, that's it. Like, because the dragons could just fly over them and burn them all, but it's... Ugh, there's so many of them. <laughs> Dude, imagine they kill the dragon, and, like, the dragon lands, and then they fucking kill it, and then that turns into... Oh, then we're, we're never winning. But, but realistically, like, the, the dragons fly over... And then just burn them all like you know that that would do some damage i like to think i'd like to think you know <sighs> okay and like that main guy who came down and fought john that john absolutely just waxed you know he okay he seemed like he was after the dragon glass too so i think that's probably why the the white walkers and the whites pulled up is because they were coming for the dragon glass now like how do they know it's there i don't know it's probably not I, okay that's probably not why they were there it's probably they're probably just there because it's like uh they were already on their way you know and it's like oh well, fuck they pulled up at the best second possible because like you give us another day before you get there we take all the wildlings there we get them off and then like you just really have the things and whoever else stayed but like yeah they're dying anyway yeah the thing everyone who stays dies but it's like okay at least we got all the wildlings at least you know but the fucking problem is with the white walkers the harder you try and fight it the more you fight it the bigger you fucking get we're fucked we need a 10 to 1 ratio to beat them okay okay anyways i'm gonna stop wasting time comment down below what you thought about this episode down below in the comments and if you like the video like the video and thanks for watching